From the famous province for its sophisticated culinary industry, Maya Pagat Panapun Kekayuan, Tiga Lilawiga Ning Kabang Pangan, Provincia Dom Pampanga. Welcome to the finals game one of Pampanga Inter Municipality City's Basketball Tournament, Delta Cup 2024. We're broadcasting live here at the Brand Sea Gao Convention Center, the city of San Fernando, Pampanga. This is the moment we're all been waiting for, where the best of the best will battle it out for the ultimate victory. Get ready for an intense display skill, strategy, and determination. As Apalit, I love it! And Level Up Lubao, sorting their way to the top. It all begins here. The time is now. This is your Pampanga Intermunicipality Cities Basketball Tournament Delta Cup 2024, the finals. And now, without further ado, let's introduce the two teams who have fought their way through countless matches to earn their spot to the finals. Introducing first from the fast growing and progressive town of Apong Iru, let us welcome the team who have shown courage, intensity, and resiliency, ready to bounce back after all fall. Naritona Ang Injong Apali Thai Lover. Assistant coaches Edgar Pingol, Per Gardiner, Robert Pereira, Romel Odschenko. The players. First from Balangay, Baluho, shooting guard number 16, Angel Sangil. From Barangay San Juan, small power number 15, John Chabozo. From Kapalangan, small power number 4, Jesse Tyree. Also from Kapalangan, shooting guard number 5, Lawrence Torres. From Barangay Sukad, center number 13, Joss Peters. Also from Barangay Sukad, shooting guard number 18, Carl Kamaya. From Barangay Sukad, center number 9, John Miravel. From Barangay San Juan, shooting guard number 7, Justin Cruz. From Barangay Sukad, small power number 28, Caleb Makapagal. From Barangay Sampaloc, shooting guard number 2, J.D. Arlego. From Barangay Kapalangan, center number 14, J.P. Maglala. From Barangay Paligi, point guard number 8, Edmar Deezer. From Sampaloc, point guard number three, Yuri Masiba. From Barangay Balukok, center number 22, Christian Silvestre. From Barangay Sulipan, small power number one, Kent Montalvo. From Barangay Balukok, point guard number 23, Landel Garcia. And from Barangay San Vicente, shooting guard number 12, Isaac Dante. Head coach is Saldi Mesina. Team owners, Municipal Administrator, Mr. Glenn Dante, Vice Mayor Peter Nakum, and Mayor Jun Tentanko.
Hindi magbabauli ang danang magpakitang gilas at ipakita ang tuloy na kahulugan ng basketball. Soaring their way to the finals, known for their lighting fast moves in the hard court. Let us give help, give it up for Municipality of Lubao, Level of Lubao! <laughs> Assistant coaches, Bert Binuya, Dong Regala, Marty Ocampo, and Dong Regala. The players! From Barangay Santa Cruz, forward number two, Memeng Pangan. From Barangay San Roque, center number five, Vincent Singer. From Concepcion, shooting guard number nine, Kenji Gonzalez. From San Jose, shooting guard number 66, MJ De La Yarn. From Santo Tomas, power forward number 23, Sharon Carolino. From Santa Cruz, center number 30, Hans Garcia. From Santa Catalina, shooting guard number 3, Kevin Montemayor. From Santo Tomas, center number 35, Jordan Mariano. From San Roque, center number 29, Alan Dallin. From San Nicolas, power forward number 13, Joshua Bajardo. From Concepcion, center number 14, Ken Ligon. From San Miguel, power forward number 24, John Zita. From Concepcion, shooting guard number 22, Mark Manalong. From Santa Cruz, shooting guard number 18, Matthew Madalonzon. From Remedios, guard number 10, Sean Lurico. From Santa Tomas, shooting guard number 8, France de la Cruz. And from Santa Cruz, guard number 17, C.J. Del Pino. Head coach is James Allen de la Peña. Team manager, Mr. Marty Ocampo. Team owner, Honorable Esmeralda Pineda. And vice mayor, J. Montemayor. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, the competing teams find a coveted, a coveted title of Pampanga Intermunicipal Municipalities Cities Basketball Tournament Delta Cup 2024 Grand Champion. Let us give them a big round of applause. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. May we request everyone to please pause for a while and please stand for the opening prayer. Let us all remember the most holy presence of God. Our most holy Father, we praise your most holy name. We ask for the forgiveness of our many sins. We thank you for giving us this fine day for a chance to play and showcase our talent and skills. Bless everyone present here today, the management, officials, teams, coaches, and players. Bless our families that we left in our home and help us bring pride and honors to them. Please give us the strength and courage to withstand in any all negativity and obstacles that we stand or come before us. As we pray, protect all the players from any injuries. We understand our task and rely on your instructions and all that we do with honor, victory, or defeat. Provide each and every one of us your knowledge to do our best. We ask all this in the name of your Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen.
Please remain standing for the Philippine National Anthem. Bayang magiliw, telas ng silanganan, alab ng puso, sa dibdib mo'y buhay. Lupang hinirang, duyan ka ng magiting, sa manlulupig, di ka pasisigil. Sa dagat at bundok, sa simoy at sa langit mong bugaw, may dilagang tula at awit sa paglayang minamahal. Ang kislap ng watawat mo'y tagumpay na nagliningning. Ang bituin na araw niya, kailan pa may di magdidilim. Lupa ng araw ng walhatit pagsinta, buhay ay langit sa piling mo. Aming ligaya na pag may mga api, ang mamatay ng dahil sa'yo. Thank you very much. You may now take your seat. Ladies and gentlemen, to properly welcome us, let us welcome an idol of knowledge and inspiration to all of us, the energetic, very supportive, and avid fan of basketball. Ladies and gentlemen, the provincial governor of province of Pampanga, Governor Dennis Delta Pineda. Maya pa oras po kay Kayungan. Okay. No ka rin la po rin fans na ning Balen na palit. In fans na po ning Balen Lubao. Okay. Kay katamo pong Mayor, Mayor Jun Tetangko. Vice Mayor, SB, Vice Mayor, Coaches, Players, at yung tamo pong bisita, yung kanako pong kaluguran, yung League President na po rin Mayor's League Philippines, Mayor Bernos po, palakpakan tayo po. Kanako pong kinakapatan, Mr. Danny Lim, at Chuya rin po. Aring... Pampanga Giant Lantern sa Chula rin po kayo, Manalbela po. First, dakal po dakala salamat kim pa mag-support tayo po kay Delta Cup. Bala mo, championship na po ni Giant Lantern sa Pakne naman po yung gym tamo. Dakal po dakala salamat. Karim Players, nak, mamialong tamo pong masanting, ma malinis, at don't forget na respect yung kapwa yung players, okay? Eh, tamo po pa po rin natin masasaktan king kaya beyo ka rin kalaban nyo. Tandaan na nyo, nak. May itong tamo mo, daya. Dayang kapampangan lang ang ringa tsokeni. Ka rin fans tamo po. I-cheer tala po rin players tamo. Na po, eh, tamo po. Mag-imbol kay nano man pong gulo. Enjoy tayo po yung game. At pag-pray tala rin players tamo na galingan da po yung pialong da para po adinan de pong championship trophy po yung balenyo. Karing mayor tamo, Mayor Esme, Mayor Jun. Ala kayo pong worry. Bala mo may kapatad na la po rin. Ine po, metong... May itong lamo po decision running ng aduang areni. Kaya sabi ko pin, there's no reason para miguluya po yung liga tamo. We just need to enjoy the game at running anak areni. Pakit de po kay kayo kung gano po kagaling running anak kapampangan. And I would like to thanks yung yung sinagliga Asia 
Sa liga natin na to, maraming maraming salamat sa inyo at matatapos ang liga na malinis, maganda ang naging liga natin. Thank you sa inyo. So okay, we start the game na po. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyo lahat. Dakal pong salamat, Governor Dennis Delta Pineda. And giving us an inspirational message, let us welcome the Tournament Commissioner of Delta Cup 2024, Mr. Leonardo Leo Isaac. Pampanga, magandang magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Pasalamat po muna tayo sa Diyos na nandito tayong lahat para makapanood ng isang magandang basketball game. Pangalawa, pasalamat din tayo sa ating gobernador, Governor Dennis Delta Pineda, na walang sawang itinataguyod, sumusuporta at patuloy na binibigyang katuparan ang pangarap ng bawat basketbolistang kapampangan. Talagang masasabi ko, itong Pampanga, ito na po ang basketball capital ng Pilipinas. Gaganitong kalaking pagkakataon na binibigyan ang mga kabataan para talagang pagbutihin ang kanilang pagbabasketball. Nakita nyo naman po ang produkto ng Pampanga. Nandun po, nandun si Balti, nandun si Encho, marami pang ibang pangalan na galing sa programa ng ating mabuting gobernador. Ngayon pa lang po, congratulations Team Apalit, Team Lubaw, pero isa lang ang magkakampiyon. Yun ang ating papanoorin. Again, magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Thank you so much, Commissioner Leo Isaac. And now, players and coaches, let's have the traditional handshake. Before the tip hop, let's have the photo opportunity for both teams together with Governor Dennis Delta Pineda. Let's have the photo op. Coaches and players, mayors. Let's have the photo opportunity with Governor Dennis Delta Pineda. Nakalpong salamat, Governor Dennis Delta Pineda, coaches and players, mayors. It's all... Tagisan ng lakas, labanan ng bilis, gamitan ng estratehiya, kilalangin ang mga pambato ng siyudad ng Pampanga, Delta Cup 2024. Inter-Municipality and City Tournament Hatid sa inyo ng Sinag Liga Asya Sinag Liga Asya Mekos Mekos na yan.
You make, you break, you take the shot, you ready to rock, 19 under, coming very soon. afternoon here at the culinary capital of the Philippines, the center site of the archipelago and the home of the defending champions for our SLA Born 2001 inaugural season, the Pampanga Delta. And this is the finals best of three series of your 2024 Delta Cup Inter-Municipalities and Cities Basketball Tournament. Fifth consecutive day that we are back to back full capacity inside the Brenziga Convention Center. Of course, para dito sa ating Game number one, CJ Delfino and his competitive spirit who's joining the rivalry and hoping to get his to get this championship title in Delta Cup and the trophy back to Lubao Pampanga going up against Kent Montalvo now back in business and wants a redemption after the collapse on their face off in the semi-finals round as his best defensive play against Florida Blanca is a disaster to defend. Our games for today, level up Lubao contra Minalin All-Stars for the best of three series of the finals. Now, it's on Delta Cup 2024. Isang magandang hapon po sa inyo, mga kabalan, Penelope Wilhelmina alongside with the Chief, Enzo Galarosa. Enzo, magandang hapon sa iyo. Magandang hapon sa iyo at magandang hapon rin sa lahat ng kabalan na nakatutok ngayon sa Facebook and also everyone na nandito sa Jam Pack Brenzi Giao Convention Center. Personally, I have not seen Bren Giao with this many people and this is very very interesting kasi game number one two teams coming out of the semi-finals round na top two sila which we will talk about later very exciting tong laro natin and dahil nga finals natin dito meron tayong mga kasama on the sideline Francine Capili for the side of the palette I love it and MJ Raymundo para sa side ng level up luba but before anything else matutukan nyo po itong Delta Cup 2024 on our different social media plat platforms first on the Facebook page at Pampanga PIO and of course the YouTube channel at Pampanga underscore PIO and of course the YouTube channel of the broadcast partner netong Delta Cup 2024 at Sinag Liga TV. But yun nga no, and so tingnan muna natin dito itong ating finals tournament format dahil nga it is the best of three series. Yes, as you said nga, it's a best of three series with the top one and top two teams ng semifinals round robin maglalaban-laban to determine the 2024 Delta Cup champions. In top three and four naman, they will have one game, a knockout game to determine who is the third placer and who is the fourth placer of the tournament. But dito sa finals, best of three dito, and importanting, importante sino ba ang makakuha ng unang panalo dito in a best of three series. Kasi after this, you win game one, you have a virtual twice to beat advantage coming into the next two games. And now let's take a look naman dito sa magiging game story natin sa laban ng Apalit, I love it, contra level up. But before anything else, let's take a look dito sa ating team standings nila nung nagtapos tayo sa semifinals. Yes, yun nga yung team standings natin. We check out itong level up Lubao, undefeated, unblemished, unscathed ang kaninang record through three games, 3-0. and Itong Apalit, I love it, only lost once and that is Ironically, to level up Lubao. They beat Florida Blanca. They beat Minalan All-Stars. That's why andirito tayo ngayon sa finals. One team is on a tear. Itong level up Lubao. 3-0. Can they make it four straight? Ito na mga palit looking to avenge that close loss ng semifinal round. But now, let's take a look. Dito sa ating magiging game story. Sa para sa laban ng apalit, I love it. Conta, level up Lubao. Chasing history. Chasing history. Chasing this 2024 
Delta Cup champions with this many people, with this so much support, with this so much pressure. History is on the line for these two cities and muni slash municipalities here in Pampanga. In line with that, let's now turn it over to our courtside reporter, Francine Capili, para sa update niya dito sa Apalit. I love it. Francine, go ahead. Good afternoon, Pen and Enzo, and good afternoon din sa mga kabalen na nakatutok sa first match of the championship ng Delta Cup 2024. Lalong-lalo na sa panig ng team Apalit I Love It. After being absent on their last game, returning player Isaac Lenting will be one to look out for. With Kent Montalvo, Lendl Garcia, Yuri Masibak, and Khaled Makapagal. With these names that we know all too well, it will surely be an exciting match for Team Mapalit as they hope to extend their dominance and make a comeback against Level Up Lubao. Now back to you, Pen and Enzo. Thank you so much, Francine, on that one. Now, I said that they returned because it's not a good thing to do with the in the semi-finals. And we know that the Nataang tanging nakatalo sa Apalit, I love it, nitong semi-finals ay Level Up Lubao. Yes, and yun nga eh, Level Up Lubao. Leveled up talaga. Talagang they leveled up in that semi-finals round. Unblemished record, 3-0 and actually undefeated pa sila coming into the playoffs. What a run they're on, what a tear they have been doing dito sa entire league natin sa Delta Cup. Dito naman for the side of Apalit, you get your star scorer. You get the fan favorite, Isaac Danting, back into your lineup. After yesterday's game against Minalin All-Stars, kung saan you dominated the game, wire-to-wire -wire victory for them. Pero you get Isaac Danting, that's a plus for you. But then again, Lubao has defeated them in the semifinals round with Danting in the lineup. So it's very interesting to see paano mga ilalaro dito ng Apalit I Love It itong laro. Kasi may mental edge itong Lubao that we beat you before, we can do it again. And of course, coming up is the battle between Level Up Lubao contra a palette I love it. And now let's, I'm turning you over to our arena announcer, Ram Valid, para sa ating Delta Cup starters on the game. Bago yan muna, pe. Tingnan muna natin ang semifinals matchup result natin. Itong Lubao won by just two points dito, 67 to 65. Look at the field goal percentage, 40% to 35%. Points off turnovers, 25 to 17. But the big thing dito sa matchup na to was John Zita. John Zita hit that block on Montalvo in the last 10 seconds of the game and got that crucial steal off the inbound. John Zita saved the day para dito sa level up Lubao in that ball game. And at the same time, that late bucket ni CJ Delfino that put them above 67 to 63. Yun yung talagang nagpapanalo sa kanila. And they need all of that. Talking about level up Lubao, they need all of that to happen one more time. Lockdown on defense. But for a pallet side naman, they need Dunting healthy. That game, Ice Dunting, both of his legs were cramped up. Diba? Nga, so they need his condition right now at tip-top shape. Sobrang close loss lang nung nangyari ng 67 to 65. Yes. With, with a full lineup ng parehong kumparal. But now let's turn it over to our courtside reporter, MJ Raimunda. Dahil may kasama sa dito ng mga special guests. MJ, take it away. Yes, I am with the Vice Mayor of Lubao, Pampanga, Vice Mayor Jay Montemayor, and the Vice Mayor of Apalit, Pampanga, Vice Mayor Peter Nukom. Now let's start with you first, Vice Mayor Jay Montemayor. You were undefeated during the semis and nakita natin how these young players are very hungry na makuha ang unang panalo for the finals. Being their number one supporter, gaano po ba kayo ka-proud sa kanila especially na umabot po kayo dito sa finals? Well, actually, bilang Vice Mayor po ng Bayan ng Lubao, Proud na proud po ako sa mga bata kasi everyday po nagpa-practice yan, defense, offense. At syempre, sa suporta po ng mga barangay captain po ng Lubao, nandito po dyan yung mga kapitan at former kapitan. At nagpapasalamat po ako sa aming mahal na Mayora, Mayora Esme Pineda. At sana po makamit po namin ang champion po ng Level Up Lubao. Maraming maraming salamat po. Now, meron po ba kayong gustong sabihin or pasalamatan din po dahil puno din po ng Lubao Pampanga ang Brent Ziegel? Unang-una, nagpapasalamat po ako sa ating mahal na gobernor po ng nalawi ng, ng Pampanga, Dennis Delta Pineda, at syempre sa aking boss, Mayora Esme Pineda, ang ating vice gobernador na Nailia Pineda. Maraming maraming salamat po. At nandito naman tayo sa Vice Mayor ng Apalit, Pampanga, Vice Mayor Peter Nukom. Now, during quarterfinals, sabi po ni Mayor um, June Tetanko, pinamis niya po na sa lahat na kapag nakapasok po itong Apalit, Pampanga, ay pupunuin po ninyo itong convention. At ngayon, punong-puno po ng Apalit, Pampanga ang convention. Now, how, how does this help to motivate the players in this entire final series? Of course, no? Uh... Tignan natin yung ating uh, yung ating convention talagang punong-puno ng uh, ng mga tao lalong-lalo na yung ating uh, 
ating kababayan sa bayan ng Apalit. Sinasabi namin sa ating mga players na sa bayan ng Apalit, lalong-lalo na uh, ang kanilang uh, perseverance, ang kanilang uh, pagporsige uh, uh, sa kanilang laban ay kailangan na uh, may timor, may puso para makarating sa finals. Meron po ba kayong gustong pasalamatan at gustong sabihin sa mga players at supporters ng Apalit Pampanga? Okay, so first of all, so I would like to say thank you to our uh, governor, Governor Dennis Delta Pineda at saka ating uh, Vice Governor uh, Lilia Baby Pineda. Meron siya, silang uh, ganitong programa, lalo-lalo na yung uh, 21 under na talagang uh, para madiscover yung mga ang mga kabataan na may talents, may skills para makarating din sa Manila, sa MPBL, at saka sa PBA. Now, pwede po ba namin makita ang friendly handshake from the both of you bago po tayo mag-start? Now, once again, that is the Vice Mayor of Lubao, Pampanga and Vice Mayor of Apalit, Pampanga. Pen and Enzo, take it away. Thank you so much, MJ. And thank you so much, of course, to the Vice Mayor of Apalit, Pampanga and Lubao, Pampanga. Now, ends up two tough teams who will remain the toughest. Yes, and yun nga yung question natin. And game number one is so crucial in a best of three series. You win this game. You win game number two. Champion na kayo, di ba? And a very interesting thing kasi dito sa laro natin is Apalit's crowd versus Lubao's crowd. Torotot versus Tambul, di ba? Napakagandang laban niya. That's why hindi na natin napatatagalin pa. Coming up is the battle between Apalit, I love it, contra Level Up Lubao. And I'm turning over to our arena announcer, Ram Valid, para dito sa ating Delta Cup starters of the game. Maya pagod pala po ang kagayongan, Delta Cup fans. We're coming to you live inside the Brand CGL Convention Center, San Fernando City, Pampanga. Welcome to the Game 1 Finals of the Pampanga Inter-Municipalities and Cities Basketball Tournament, Delta Cup 2024. Presented to you by Governor Dennis Delta Pineda and powered by coverage partner Sina Gligasha. We're also live at Pampanga Public Information Office, every page and YouTube channel. This is the game one of the best of three series. And now let's meet the stunning lineup for both teams. First, for your level up blue ball. Starting at power number two, Mamin Pagan. Also at power number eight, France de la Cruz. At center number 29, Alan Dennon. At guard number 22, Mark Manalong. And the other guard number 17, CJ Delpino. Head coach for Level Up Laval is James Allen de la Peña. Assistant coaches Bert Binuya, Vin Sala, Martin Ocampo, and Dado Regalo. Your level up blue ball. And now let's meet the starting lineup or your Apollo Die Lovers. Starting on guard number three, Yuri Masipa. Also at guard number 23, Lando Garcia. At center number 14, JP Maglalong. At power number one, Kent Montalvo. And also at power number 12, Isaac Dante. Head coach for a pallet, I love it, is Sal Demisida. Assistant coaches Edgar Pingol, Per Gardiner, Robert Pereira, and Romel Alchenko. Your Apollo Tile Lover! Game official charge in action. Anthony Roger, John Panayer, and Dennis and Scott Oles. This is the Del. The starters for Level Up Lubao, Mark Manalang, CJ Delfino, Alan Danan, Manuel Pangan, and Franz De La Cruz. And they will face off against Yuri Masibak, Lendal Garcia, JP Maglalang, Kent Montalvo, and Isaac Denting. 
Penelope Wilhelmina alongside with Enzo De La Rosa and MJ Raimundo together with Francine Capilli on the sidelines. Hindi natin kung kanina mapupunta ang unang ball possession. As 8.2 thousand viewers in our Facebook page at Pampanga PIO. Jump ball pa lang yan ha. 8.2 na. Paano pa kaya mamaya, di ba? O open look. That is short for Mark Manalang. Nagdalawang isip pa ako, short to pasok, di ba? Ako din, akala ko makapasok eh. Lando Garcia. Nung hindi nag-react yung crowd, doon ko lang nalaman na airball. Back to Denting. This will be the redemption day for Isaac Denting, no? Yes. But look at that, Montalvo just trying to reach for the ball. Phil Garcia with the basketball. Bili kay Denting ang bola. For three. Layo. It's beyond the arc. It goes in and out. Jumper! Ayaw pa rin for a panic! And at that time, Lubao did the right thing dun sa pang-apat na attempt na itong apalit. Nag-gang rebound na sila. Kita nila eh, Montalvo and Maglalang nandun sa ilalim, may dating pa nalilipad. Hindi kaya ni Allen Danan mag-isa yan. Lahat dapat sila magtulungan sa rebound. Delfino against Garcia. Good defense. One and shot. Contested by Montalvo. JP Maglalang, back to Yuri Masibak. Masibak, back to Danting. Danting with it. Nakuha ni Alan Dana ng bola. Good block there by Franz De La Cruz. And that's the matchup we are actually talking about. De La Cruz versus itong si Danting. At ito, De La Cruz agad. And there you have it. That shot is good. For Franz De La Cruz. Imagine mo, no? 20 years old. Titira ng ganon. Well defended pa siya. The kid has guts. Grabe, walang katakot-takot tong batang to. Alam mo kung bakit? Bakit? Part yan ng Pampaga Giant oh. Lantern sa Junior. Ah, oh, well, that's true. <laughs> Pero ito. One thing, to Yuri Masibak. Masibak will drive. Goes oh. off to the right. I was gonna say good defense sa sana by Delfino. Sinarado niya yung driving lane. Kaso pag sidestep ni Masibak, tumalun siya eh. Doon tuloy nagkaroon ng foul. That shot ko. It's a back pass coming from CJ Delfino to you. Franz De La Cruz. Yung sinasabi mo, walang hesitation. Oo. Yung pagtira doon ni Franz De La Cruz. Walang katakot-takot, di ba? I mean, pero ito, speaking of walang katakot-takot, si Yuri Masibak. Really, a, a really, really good player. Kayo ni Alvin Tanyata na cover ng game nila last game against Minalin. I was watching there as a side. And sabi ko, this kid is very, very fearless. Kahit sino pa yan, Jason Ibay man. Kahit nga sarili niya kakampi, tinatry niyang talunan para makuha yung rebound. Fearless itong bata na to, Yuri Masiba. And I compare him to a guy you know, naka-over mo siya nung courtside ka. JL De Los Santos of JRU, di ba? Mm-hmm. Exactly right. So na, Masibak again with the basketball. Look at that drive. Traveling. Oh, travel. Tignan mo itong crowd ng apalit. Even mo... though it's a turnover. Oh, di ko narinig yung pito eh. They still celebrated. You ko, ikaw narinig mo? Ako, oh, huh? di ko narinig. Honestly, I didn't hear the whistle. Kaya nga lang ako counted. Pagtingin ko gumagano na yung referee. And that's how noisy it is in Brengiao. That's how jam-packed we are. And may mga fans pa sa labas ng Brengiao na hindi makapasok. CJ Delfino, Mark Minalang from the Rainbow Territory. Look at Rebound by Montalvo. Look at Montalvo. Na-inspire ata kanina sa tune-up ng Lanterns eh. Ganyan tumalun sila Balti kanina eh. Lendel against Manalang. Back to JP Maglalang. Good pass. Nice one. Sayang lang yun for Yuri Masibang. Oo. Oh. And that's one way to attack that kind of defense na binibigay ni Manalang. He's trying to force Lendel Garcia. He's trying to ice him to the sidelines. Punta doon si Garcia sa sideline. Ang ginawa ni Garcia, binitawan niya. Give it to Maglalang. Maglalang made the right decision. Hit the cutter. He hit Masibak down low. Late si Alan Danan to challenge and called for, get called for the foul. Speaking of Korea, sinasabi mo yung tapang na ito ni Yuri Masibak. Tingnan mo kung sino yung defenders niya nun. Alin Dana. Alin Dana. Laki-laki, di ba? But now, we're 9,000 and 500,000 viewers on Facebook page. And 
almost full. Not almost, super full. Alam mo, ano, ano, ano lang kulang? May mga sumabit sa aircon. Pero na nga, may naka... Oo, oh, doon, meron na. may nakasabit na, di ba? Para lang makanood, di ba? Together with the 9,400k viewers, di ba? And look at that again, Montalvo! In that cut, Enzo Serrano's attention. The pride of a pallet, Enzo Serrano himself. Pumalakpak dun sa rebound na yun ni Montalvo. And that's what we talked about with Kent Montalvo. The little things he does is so important. The defense on Delfino, the rebounding. Yes, he's tall. Yes, he's a good player. But what makes him special is the little things that he does on the court. Yun ang difference maker for Apalit in today's ballgame. Kaya nga, eh, yung depensa na itong Apalit is a disaster to defend para dito sa level up Lubao. Knowing that they will bounce back coming from the close uh -oh. loss in the semifinals. And one thing, the difference between that game that you were talking about in the semifinals and today's game, Mark Manalang's now on the bench. Let's not forget that game in the semifinals. Mark Manala exploded for nine continuous points in the first quarter. Sunud sunud na nine points kay Mark Manalang. Ngayon, forced to lazy coach James De La Peña to sit him down. Dahil nga ineffective siya. But that shot from Alan Pangan is no good. But Ice Acton thing is on the other end now. Duelo. Pero may foul dito kay Mark and Manuel Pangan. And that's the right thing to do if you're Eman Pangan. Harangan mo na si Danting bago pa siya makatalon. But late siya, he should be a little bit forward. Kung nasan si San Lorico, dapat hanarangan na din ni Pangan yun. Kasi pag nakalipan dito si Danting, you have no other choice but to foul him. Pero on Danting's side, you have to hit your free throws. We've been talking about this. This is his weakness. This is his Achilles heel. Yung free throws. And it came down to that game, the semifinals round. Danting missed four crucial free throws. Sunod-sunod. Pero binawi nila yung last game eh. Uh -oh. Tapos, ito na naman yung nagiging problema nila. Kaya si Yuri Masibak just shot one free throw. Out of two, two. di ba? Si Masibak na si Danting, 0 for 2 pa. Wow! Top shot there by Lorico. The hustle rising sun. Totoo. <laughs> Grabe. Bagay na bagay sa kanya yung team niya, no? Because the uh -oh. hustle of this kid is very different. Kung meron ka CJ Delfino, meron ka pang San Lorico for level up your bow. That's another miss from Isaac and Ting. You can argue that they're the two best point guards in Pampanga playing sa Sinag Liga Asia, di ba? No offense to CJ Butison. <laughs> no offense to CJ Butison. But look at this. <laughs> Anything that happens on the court, yung dalawang crowd mag-aasaran yan. And that's why... Ewo ko kita dito from our vantage point. Ah, meron tali yan sa gitna ng crowd to divide the Lubao in a pallet crowd, di ba? Sabi nga yun ni Coach Alan eh. Sabi niya, papalagyan ko ng harang. <laughs> harang, di ba? Pero parang hindi, hindi kinaya eh. <laughs> Dabing so, tao eh. Sobrang dami ng tao. Look at that. Rebound coming from Montalvo. Tatlong rebound na puro galit sa sabola, di ba? Sinesecure niya talaga eh. Garcia, asking for help. Oh, Montalvo's Montalvo. free. From the Rainbow Territory. So no good. Lando is here with the putback. Ayaw pa rin for a pallet. May buelo si Delfino. CJ against three. Good Edge defense. Oh oh oh, 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 oh. Ayaw pa rin. May takip yung ring nila. Lorica for three. Rebound may maglalang. And this is what we call nerves. Medyo nararamdaman ng mga plays yung pressure. Two close shots. Mintis for both Danting and Masibak. Open three-pointer for Lorico. Air ball, di ba? That's pressure na rin. Galing dito sa environment of the finals. Maglalang for the jumper. And this goes in right now. For a pallet, 5 to 4. Just a one point lead for a level up Lubao. 9,900 viewers on our Facebook page. Paangat na na paangat. Good back door. Oh, almost a good pass. Oh, oh. Once again, President Cruz with a one hand shot. Good block there by Danting. Lenda to Masiba. Nice save. And look at that. Look at the, the crowd. Of Yuri Masiba. Alam niyo, tatalo ng si Dintino dun eh. He knew CJ was gonna chase that down. Good use of the up fake. And even Balti is cheering for Apalit. Nothing with the rebound. Sabi nga ni Balti, 
Talaga mabalakat yan, ha? Mabalakat daw. Mabalakat so, yan, wala yan, na eh. daw yung asawa ng mga taga Apalit. <laughs> Apalit na lang. Oo. Oh, oh. Cheer na lang natin yung taga sa asawa niyo, di ba? <laughs> yan, yeah, siguro sabi ni Balti. Dancing! Si Fancy! Ayaw pa rin! Four consecutive missed shots from him. Grabe! Wow! And wow! That is the Tasmanian Devil, CJ Delfino. I've been covering Delfino for two years now, and I'm still in awe. Look at how high he just jumped over. Maglalang don. Look at how maglalang stand tall against oh. CJ Delfino. And even the mayor of Abra, the team owner of the Abra Weavers, and the mayor of Abra. Napailing na lang eh. Pagugulat ka dun sa talo ni Delfino. To those of you na nanonood ngayon, that 10,000 fans sa Facebook na Pampanga PIO, the camera did not do it justice, to be honest. Diba? Grabe yung lundag niya nun eh. And I'm pretty sure that Governor Dennis Dato Pineda is very proud watching CJ Delfino. Nakangiti nga eh. Nakangiti nga si Gov eh. Lendl. Asking for help. Dibing dito dito sa ilalim si Masiba. Hindi nila nakikita. Pumwesto dito si Lendl. It's against John Zita, the hero against the semifinals. The thing for way beyond the arc. Still no good. Jumper for Garcia. Ayaw pa din. Sura talagang may takip ng ring. Oo, oh, pahirapan itong sa kapalit side. But here you go. Look at Masiba. Traveling. Yes, he tried to stand up without dribbling. Clear travel violation, but look at the effort from Yuri Masiba. I compared him to JL De Los Santos. Sige, I want to go a, a level higher. Scotty Thompson, Earl Scotty Thompson. Pride of Davao, Barangay Never player. Ganyan na ganyan ang laro ni Scotty Thompson when he used to play for Perpetual. Kahit MVP siya, diving on the ground, playing defense, rebounding like a menace. And I see Yuri Masiba being that kind of player for Apalit. Grabe yung ginawa doon ni Yuri Masiba at CJ Delfino against J.D. Harlego as he checks in for Apalit. Good pass. Natapik lang. Ay na. May buelo. He's against one. But Montaibo was there. Still short. Four shots for yes. Apalit on that one. That's the right term. You said, Ben. Four shots. Credit Sinke and Zita. Nababasa nila yung gustong gawin ng mga players ng Apalit when they're the last line of defense. Grabe. 20 years of age. Guts of gold. Grabe itong tira na to. Na-escape niya si Dating. A switch happened. Through contact, getting the basket. Five points na to his tally after, what, seven, eight minutes, di ba? You know, even before, hindi daw talaga part si Franz de la Cruz ng Pampaga Giant Lantern to Juniors. Pero sabi ni Coach Aisel, May nakita daw talaga sila sa batang yan. That's why they recruited Franz de la Cruz sa Pampanga Giant Lantern. Isa pa rin siya sa Lantern sa pro, di ba? The kid can do it, di ba? This kid is good. Six points in the first quarter in a finals game, di ba? Oh, good pass. Edmar Dijon. To the 10,000 viewers on our Facebook page. Ito na, Dizon and Harlego are now on the floor. Ito na yung Shock Troopers. So also, Khaled Makapagal. Ito na yung Shock Troopers ni Coach Zaldi Messina. Edmar Dizon can drive to the basket. JT Harlego can knock away from the rainbow territory. Oh, oh. And ito may Makapagal ka to rebound and jump over anybody, di ba? Ito na yung Shock Troopers niya. And ito, papasok pa yung Silvestri mamaya-maya, di ba? Una, Edmar Dizon. Isaac Dunting. From the right wing, knocks his first triple on the ball game, coming. We're now tied at 11 after the three-point shot from Isaac Dunting. The fan favorite. And si Isaac <laughs> talaga yung nakaka-score. <laughs> Oo. Oh, Isaipin mo, first three points ngayon, tapos ganyan na agad yung reaction na crowd. Kala mo game winner. Dizon again. Another missed possession for Lubao. Her leg over three. Short rebound by De La Cruz. May buelo to si De La Cruz. Running against Dijon. Great use of the body. Nagulat ako dun. 
pagkaga, pagkakuha niya na rebound, diretso siya against Ed Martizo, nagginamit lang niya yung katawan niya, nakascore na agad siya. 20 years old, no? Pero parang mama na akong maglaro eh. The way he plays. Again, Dante, same spot. But he gets the rebound. Fancy pass to Montalvo. One and shot. It works now for Ken Montalvo. And like that, this is the Ken Montalvo that I wanted to see dito sa finals. Hindi niya kailangan gumawa ng ganong karaming dribble. He doesn't need to create a shot. Tambay-tambay ganun doon sa ilalim. Dante, Lendel, and Yuri will find you underneath. And this is the Montalvo that actually a pallet needs. Hindi nila kailangan yung ginawa niyo sa Minali. Yung nakahabol, yung pala yung dribble. They don't need that from him. That's what he needs to do. Good block right there by Montalvo. Nabawian niya si John Zita from the semifinals. So I know time to replenish for level up Lubao on that play. We're tied at 13. We also thought that we still have two minutes para dito sa ating first quarter. Pero wala na pala. Look at that. Fred de la Cruz from way beyond the arc. Knocks it first triple of the ball game. Once again, Edmar, JP Maglalang. <laughs> Grabe. Ito pinapakita ng Apalit. I love it. Look at that. Sean Lorico with a jumper. One of the players for the Hustle Rising Suns. Bagay na bagay. Kung nasaan siyang team at sinagliga asa. Dahil kakaiba ang hustle ng batang ito. And that Yuri Masibak. Look at that. CJ Delfino against standing against JP Maglalang. With an end one. So either we're tied at 13. The end of the first half, entering our fourth, our second quarter of the ball game. Because having level up the ball contra a palit. I love it. Tagi sa nalakas, laban na ng bilis, gamitan ng estratehiya, kilalang ang mga pambato ng ciudad ng Pampanga Delta Cup 2024. Inter-Municipality and City Tournament Hatid sa inyo ng Sinag Liga Asya Sinag Liga Asya Mekos Mekos na yan You make You break You take the shot You ready to draw 19 under Coming very soon Edmar Justin Cruz for a pallet, I love it. And look at that, Delfino. Wala pa rin pahinga ngayon. He's the only remaining guy sa first quarter na wala pang inuupo ni isang segundo sa bench. Danting, Montalvo, Garcia are already on the bench. Magla, Manalang already came off the bench. Inupo kanina na saglit si Manalang. Also, Alan Danan. Delfino's the only guy na wala pang pahinga dito coming off the, the first quarter, coming off the jump ball. And bakit naman hindi? Tanda natin, in the finals game of Sinag Liga Asa, he was known as the finals MVP. As look at that, full capacity crowd tayo dito sa Brent Ziggyaw. 2,000 ang capacity, di ba, dito? Parang 3,000 yun lang dito. Oh. <laughs> meron pa nasa labas eh. eh. Meron sa doon nga sa Hagdanan. Baka, baka, Ay, ano, no, meron nga. Meron sa nakatago sa Hagdanan, <laughs> di ba? We're tied at 13 when we enter the second quarter of this ball game. At ito ah. Look at that, Justin Cruz, parang gusto niyang tumira ng tres from that shot. Makapagal. It's not, hindi yung usual shot ni Khaled makapagal. Yes. Delfino kicked the ball. Uh-oh, Carlego and Delfino. Nagkakain nita na dito. Oo. Pero yun yung laro ni CJ Delfino. Yes, that's his game. And if you're JD Arlego, you're trying your best na Tanggalin sa laro, as we saw that kick ball. Tanggalin si Delfino sa laro. Diba? Take his mind off the game. Kasi these are the games that Delfino loves to play with. Mga asar yung crowd, malaking crowd. This is where he lives to play talaga. Even nung San Beda Red Cup days niya pa, when they won the championship in the NCAA Juniors, ganun na ganun sila. Ganun na ganun si Delfino maglaro. He is a star. And because of, and because star siya, this is where he shines. So if you're Harlego, do as much as you can to just take away Delfino from the game. Ito ah, Christian Silvestre checks in. Laki ni Silvestre, di ba? Compared to everyone on the floor. Dizon. Back to Harlego. Wala pa din for JD Harlego. But the possession still goes to Abalit. Yes, a foul on John Zita. First personal on John, trying to hold on to Makapagal. Let's not forget the John Sita. Depends on doon. 
on the inbound. Ang nagpanalo yes. sa level up Lubao. And the block before that on Montalvo, di ba? He was literally the hero of that game. Pero right now, for sure, pinagplanuhan sa dito ng apalit na si Zita mapanalo sa kanila. But look at that. Hindi pwede sa kaliwa. Doon niya sa right corner kukunin. Jody Harlago. The most dangerous man coming off an inbound is always the inbounder. Harlego yung pumasa, tumakbo bigla sa corner. Great out of bounds play for Apalit. Mark Manalang against Edmar Dizon. Alan Danan. And look at the crowd dito. And I was gonna ask, until when is Coach James De La Peña going to keep Franz De La Cruz on the bench? I was about to say that. Ito na si Franz De La Cruz, oh. Ayan na. Dahil hindi nga talaga sila pwede yung pakampante dito. Oo. Oh, oh. I mean, a palit after that game no Florida Blanca, di ba? When they beat Florida Blanca, coming up on loss dito sa Lubao. Everything turned around for a palit. They beat Minalin All-Stars, di ba? They defeated Minalin All-Stars. And yun nga, pagkatalo nila sa... Yung panalo nila sa Florida Blanca was no joke. They literally took Florida away from the game. Nice bounce pass! Bitin. Bitin lang. Si Khaled makapagal. Yung kamukha ni Ken Puntal. Sasabihin ko na naman sana Ken Puntal. Nakita ko walang tatoo. Walang tatoo. Oo, sa tatoo ka magbibase. Kasi minsan yung jersey hindi mo makikita yung jersey number. Sa tatoo ka magbase. Kung kanina ang tanong mo, how long will Coach Alan De La Peña intikip niya sa bench si Franz De La Cruz? How long naman ikikip ni Coach Zaldi Messina si Isaac Danting? Well, with the way the five is playing on the floor, di ba? Baka medyo matagal-tagal pa kasi ang ganda nung nilalaro ng liba niya sa floor, eh. Look at that, oh. Parang si Kent Montalvo oh, din tumalik. Oh. Interchangeable, di ba? So they can afford to let Danting sit for a long period of time. For Lubao naman, tamo nga yung Delfino, hindi pa nilalabas, eh. No time to rest for CJ Delfino. There's a whistle. Against MJ De Leon. Which um, Eman Pangan down? Take a look at this right here. Justin Cruz. Oh, may bigay siya ng kuting balikat. Hindi na talaga ng matayad ng mga referees natin. Oh. The man inbound once again. Justin Cruz. Nice bounce pass to Silvestre. Naglalabanan sila dun ni Danan. Yes, Danan's really trying hard. Good block there by Pangan. De Leon with the basketball. Back to CJ Delfino. Big ambola kay MJ De Leon for three. Diretso sa kamay ni Khaled Makapagal. Big ambola. Tingnan mo, yung dalawa, si Justin Cruz at si Edmar Dizon. Magkamukha, magkamukha. Magkamukha, magkamukha. Hindi ko na sila eh. Seven and eight pa. Good pass. Sino yun? It's just... Edmar Dizon. Kala ko Cruz din, no? Grabe. Oo, talaga eh. Kung may Cruz at Dizon din, tapos may makapagal at saka magtahibo. And yun, parang role reversal eh. Dizon was looking at Justin Cruz and then din drop pass niya kay makapagal. Kita mo, Montalbo din sana sabihin ko. Franz de la Cruz! Pero may foul. But now let's turn it over to our courtside reporter, MJ Raimundo, para sa update niya dito sa Level Up Lubao. MJ, go ahead. Thank you, Fen and Enzo. Halos walang pahinga at walang practice ng kanyang players. But sabi ni head coach James Allen de la Peña, we made sure na nakapagpahinga at prepared yung utak namin. Kasi ito na lang yung magiging way namin to execute our game plan. If we need to adjust in game, gagawin namin kahit opensa at depensa pa yan. Let's see if they can dominate today's game. Balik muna sa inyo, Fen at Enzo. Thank you so much on that update, MJ. Enzo, ito din yung sinasabi ko nung semifinals eh. No time for recovery. Yes. Mahirap yun eh, kasi kahapon lang kayo naglaro. Oh, good nice up fake! Face! Justin Cruz! What a basketball IQ! Alam niya, ang tangkad ng defender niya na si Alan Danan. And alam niya na ikokontest at ikokontest siya. The sea of white went wild after that shot, di ba? Tapos hirap na hirap pa ngayon na itong Lubao to score. This second unit ni Coach Zaldi Messina is doing them wonders. I'd even go to say na much better yung ginagawa na second five niya than his first five. 17 nothing rounds. So it alarms coach James Allen de la Peña. Time out, 20 to 13.
Ito na ang pagkakataon mo. Pakita ka ngayon pagmamahal sa inyong minamahal. Kaya kuya, kiss mo na si Acheng. Kiss! 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 Yun! Ito ba isa? Kiss! Kuya, kiss mo na si Acheng. Kiss! Ako magkumpare pala. Kiss! Yan! Kiss naman dyan! Kiss! Metong lang, metong! Aru! Alright! Yan ba isa? Kiss naman dyan! Kiss! Kiss naman dyan! Ako nahiya! Ayan! Akala ko yung kikiss yung tarpaulin ni Alan Dalman. Alam mo, ang interesting na dalawang araw natin ang kiss camp tayo. Yesterday, lahat na nag-participate sa kiss camp, lalaki kumis sa babae. Ngayon, yung dalawang nag-participate, yung babae kumis sa lalaki. Fair. Fair game, di ba? <laughs> Kung baga, quits lang. <laughs> Grabe. Six minutes and 12 seconds remaining. 20 to 13, a 7 to nothing run for a palit, I love it. J.D. Harlego still working with Christian Silvestre, Ed Martison, Justin Cruz, and Khaled Makapagal for a palit. Harlego for three again. It's short. Look at Manalang really trying his best to box out Silvestre. Binigay na niya yung buong katawan niya para lang mabox out si Silvestre doon. And the three now to Phil Cruz. Goes off to the left. Rebound by Harlego. Back to Dizon. Dizon will drive. No, pinasa niya kay Justin Cruz. Good up fake. Ganyan na sana nun. Oh, Delfino has a driving lane. Nice pass to Pangan with a jumper. Another turnover. Pat na ngayon, parehong kuponan na may ano na sa ring. Type na, but eto level up luba, wala pa silang puntos dito. As you said, and we're at the midway point of the quarter now. D-Zon, bounce pass to Harlego. Back to D-Zon. D-Zon to Cruz. Back to Dizon. Look at the ball handling. The jumper for Edmar Dizon. Yung magkamukha, nagpasahan. Kailang dalawa. Grabe, ah. The chemistry of a pallet is showing now. Nine points na tuloy ang kalamangan nila. De La Cruz. Mark Manalang. Ayaw pa rin. Ngayon yung ganyan yung nagisimula ng a pallet. Oo, oh, oh. the semifinals round, di ba? Ngayon, baliktad na. This time, it's now level up Lubao, who's struggling from the field. And it's 11 to nothing run. Another turnover. De La Cruz against three. Good pass. Kala ko ayaw pa din yun eh. Oh, but good pass there by Franz De La Cruz. Really trying his best to outwork everybody on the floor. But that's just the first field goal for level up Lubao. Look at that. Franz De La Cruz. Alam niya hindi niya nakakayanan. Nakita niya doon na libre-libre dito sa Evan Pangan. Kaya naman, napatawag dito ng timeout si Coach Zaldi Messina with 4 minutes and 18 seconds remaining. 22 to 15. Semi-finals game with about one by a two-point margin against the Palette. I love it. 67 to 65. 20 points in that ball game. Sa mga mupa yung production din ni Mark Manalang. Yung ay dinab natin sila Splash Brothers that game, di ba? Kasi halos lahat ng tres na binato nila puma paso. But in this ball game, one palang. It's only Franz de la Cruz's three-pointer palang ang puma paso for them. Doon nga pumapasok Enzo yung sinasabi ko kanina na both teams, no recovery time na makapag-scout pa ulit ng maayos kung ano man yung pinerform nila. Yes. But that was too strong for Justin Cruz. Ice up the thing, checks in for a palit. Yes, and dito masusubukan actually. Pag ganyan yung mga nangyayari, no recovery time, no training to adjust. 
Dito magpapasok yung IQ nga ng play, players as to what MJ or Milka said kanina sa report niya on level up Lubao, di ba? Dito papasok din yung deep rotation. And for me, ha, a palit has a deeper rotation than Lubao. But, yan ang counter dito ng Lubao. Mark Manolang puts it in in the basket for level up Lubao. Look at them hound Isaac, Isaac Danting on the full court. Look at that move coming from Justin Cruz. Good block again by Pangan. Cruz again, Lando Garcia against Franz de la Cruz. I, Danting, hinihingi niya dito ang bola. It's off to the right. Tingin mo yung sipag ni Silvestre ngayon. Oh, oh. doing his work early. Bumabox out, pumepuesto na. Hindi lang talaga siya nakikita ng mga teammates niya na libre siya sa ilalim eh. De la Cruz. Back to Manalang. Manuel Pangan. Grabe naman yun. Itinataas niya yung tres kasi he knows. That's not usually his shot. Mid-range talaga sa tiro niya. That time he took a three and he made it. Now one point game na lang tayo. Seven consecutive points for Level Up Lubao after Coach Zazie Mezina's timeout. Mas mukhang nag-work ang timeout ngayon for Level Up Lubao. That fancy pass, no good for them thing. Wow! Sayang lang. Sayang for the Tasmanian Devil. Montalvo. Step back. Garcia with a speed move. Offensive foul. Parang natamaan si Manalang sa area na ayaw, natin, ayaw namin mga lalaking matamaan. That's where he's holding on to. Namimilipit siya and our referees are going to review it sa IRS. I think, kung kaya bang i-upgrade? Oo, oh, pwede ba? Ayan na, honestly, mahi, mahirap yan eh. Kahit ako kung ako medic, hindi mo rin alam paano gagamutin yan eh. Matama ka sa area na yan. He's all alone down on the ground and the assistant coaches are going to approach him now. Still down itong si Manalang. At ito nilalabi ng ating mga referees. Ang kung ano. Under habit, may decision na sila. Offensive foul lang. Just a regular offensive foul. Manalang is still down on the floor. There you go. Dapat, dapat italon-talon nga talaga yan. Let's take a look at this right here, what happened. Oh, inadvertent. Nalabas. Paglabas ng siko dito ni Garcia, it hit in that area. Right in the groin area. Tumalong kasi din siya ng konti eh. A good call by the referees. Na offensive foul lang. Hindi in-upgrade to, you know, unsportsmanlike. It's two minutes and 26 seconds remaining in our second period. There will be an inbound for Level Up Lubao. MJ De Leon. San Lorico inside for CJ Delfino. First rest of the game dito ni Delfino yan, ha? Lorico against Masibak. Back to MJ De Leon. Ayun naman, si Kent Montalvo. Mag-isa na lang siya doon kahit alam oh. niyo, mag-isa na lang siya, tignanood pa din niyo. Ayan, bumubuelo, si Kent. No, pinasa niya dito kay John Mirabel with the jumper. Look at that. Yuri Masiba. Look at that. At that. the center for the putback. That's what I'm talking about. Itong si Yuri Masiba. Ganyan talaga yung game niya. Really reminds me of Earl Scotty Thompson. De La Cruz. Lorico with the jumper. His signature move. Montalvo again on the rebound. Pang lima, pang anim na tayo ni Montalvo na rebound eh. A three-point lead for a pallet. I love it. With one minute and 30 seconds remaining in our second second period. Masibak to Garcia. Guarded by Lorico. Mirabel gives the screen for Masibak. Two Bounce seconds. Pass. Then think for three. Oh! oh what a buzzer beater shot for Isaac Denting. 
Grabe. Buzzer beater talaga yun. And the clock was winding down at one second. He had to fire that from way downtown. Good pass. What a pass there by Franz de la Cruz. 50 seconds remaining. 27 to 23. A four-point lead for Apollon. Denting once again. Uh oh Oh! Wow! Kinulang lang doon. Si Isaac Denting. But look at his reaction after that. I nearly lost my cell phone jumping for that. Grabe! Wow! Look, look at that! Alam mo na kasi bumuelo na si Ice eh. With malicious intent. No regard for human life. Ice Danding tried to put on a poster. And that got Coach Pedic off his seat. Look at that. Coach Pedic is now off his seat. <laughs> Here is Coach Pedic the gulat. You don't contest an growling tiger himself on that shot. Grabe. At ito pa din ang problema ang kinakaharap ni Isaac Danting. And look at that. Diba his, it's really in his head na rin eh. Nasa utak na rin niya. Nababother din siya that he can't shoot free throws. He can't make free throws. He can shot from way beyond the arc. He can drive to the basket. He can dunk. But this, this is the main problem of an Isaac Danting. 0 for 4 na siya in this ball game from the free throw line. He gets the rebound. Ako if, ako if I'm level up Lubao, I'm a duha ka Danting, di ba? Fouling ko siya ng fouling, no? Let him shoot his free throws. Kasi he can do things like that, di ba? Why not if you're Lubao? Fouling yun siya kaysa gumawa siya ng mga ganun moves, di ba? Maybe that's a tactic that Lubao could actually explore. 29 to 23 with 13 seconds remaining. Delfino, a six point lead for Apollo. Five seconds. Oh, muntik na yun. It was a steal. France will shot. Grab it! Oh! What a replenish. Grab Coming from France de la Cruz, a 20 year old from Packer Giant Lanterns Jr. Bang class, eh. Binabas sa tatlo ang kalamangan. 29 to 23 at the end of the first half. What a first half run for both teams. Look at that. 1.5 seconds remaining. Parang wala lang sa kanya, di ba? Pag bitaw niya, parang alam niya, pasok na yun. Then he just walked it off. And it doesn't just go from the 24-footer line. It seems like 30, 32. 32 foot, 30 or 32 feet, di ba? And look at that. Parang, I've been doing this for a long time. Yung siguro sabi niya. Grabe ito si Franz de la Cruz, ha? That's why, at the end of the first half, we're... 29 to 26, a pallet a love it contra level up Lubao. Kaya tutok lamang po mga kabalenda. Nagbabalik kami para dito sa ating Delta Cup 2024. Pampanga, known as the culinary capital of the Philippines, offers the best variety of Filipino dishes. But, there's more to this province than just good food. Welcome to Pampanga. Despite being hit by Mount Pinatubo's eruption more than 30 years ago, the Kupampangans were able to rebuild the province. Economy is booming. Former military base, Clark Air Base, has been reborn into a freeport zone. Home to business parks, EPOs, malls, 
convention centers, and world-class hotels and resorts. Aside from Clark, Tourist attractions in other areas of Pampanga are among the most exciting places and events in the Philippines. From trekking, adventure sports, leisure, and a lot more. The Kapampangans are also deeply religious. The depth of faith can be reflected with the grandeur, dignity, and divine beauty of their churches. And during the Holy Week, Pampanga is also said to be strangely famous not only for devotees who flock different churches for what is known as the Visita Iglesia every Monday Thursday. but also for the penitents who self-flagellate on the streets on Good Friday. Some whip themselves until their backs swell or bleed, or carry wooden crosses. For the more courageous ones, they vow to have themselves nailed on the cross as a way to repent for their sins. These unique rituals, traditions, and devotion have attracted much media and tourist interest since featured in the 1960s. So come home and explore all these and more here in Pampanga in the heart of Central Zone. to rock 19 under coming very soon
Tagisa ng lakas, labanan ng bilis, gamitan ng estratehiya. Kilalang ang mga pambato ng siyudad ng Pampanga, Delta Cup 2024 Intermunicipality and City Tournament. Hatid sa inyo ng Sinag Liga Asia. Sinag Liga Asia. Mekos, mekos na yan. Pampanga, known as the culinary capital of the Philippines, offers the best variety of Filipino dishes. But there's more to this province than just good food. Welcome to Pampanga. Despite being hit by Mount Pinatubo's eruption more than 30 years ago, the Kupampangans were able to rebuild the province. The economy is booming. Former military base, Lark Air Base, has been reborn into a free port zone. Home to business parks, EPOs, malls, convention centers, and world-class hotels and resorts. Aside from Clark, tourist attractions in other areas of Pampanga are among the most exciting places and events in the Philippines. From trekking, adventure sports, leisure, and a lot more. The Kapampangans are also deeply religious. The depth of faith can be reflected with the grandeur, dignity, and divine beauty of their churches. And during the Holy Week, Pampanga is also said to be strangely famous not only for devotees who flock different churches for what is known as the Visita Iglesia, every Monday Thursday. Kayo po rin po ay nakatutok sa ating Delta Cup 2024 at ito ang laban ng Level Up Lubao kontra Apalit I Love It, the Game 1 of the best of three series of the finals at the end of the first half, 29 to 26, a three-point lead for Apalit I Love It. Look at that, CJ Delfino fancy pass to Franz de la Cruz, knocks the triple coming from beyond the arc. Look at the crowd reaction and that pass coming from Landal Garcia to Yuri Masiba, escapes the defensive stop from CJ Delfino. And after that, Pumawe to si Delfino ng Bell Land 1 against JP Maglalang. Look at that jumper coming from Edmar Dizon, one of the players who really stand tall even though that he's just playing point guard for a palette, I love it and look at that triple coming from Isaac Danting with just one second left on the shot clock. The end of the first half, France de la, our leading scorers, France de la Cruz with 11, Manuel Pangan with 5, CJ Delfino with 3 and for the side of a palette, I love it, Isaac Danting with 8, Yuri Masibak with 6, Edmore Dizon with 4, Penelope Wilhelmina still joined by Enzo Galarosa, MJ Raimundo and Francine Capilli on the sidelines. Isaac Tanting on your screen together with Franz De La Cruz. Grabe, and one thing dito para sa panig na Apalis, I'm looking at the stats right now. 
second chance points talagang nanalig sa kanila. 10 points off of those second chances. Zero for Level Up Lubao. Walang second chance opportunities ang nabibigay dito sa Lubao. Talagang zero. Goose egg from the second chance points. And speaking of... SLA opens another tourney as opening ceremony tomorrow, Sunday, March 17, 2024. At S Events Hall, SM South Mall, Las Piñas, our game number one for our 19 under is Leap Basketball contra NYBL JY Titans at para sa ating 23 under, game number two, para Niake Pelicans contra the brand new TGC Santa Rosa Saints. Grabe, exciting na exciting, especially yung dalawang games na yun. I'm really excited, especially makikita ko ulit yung youngest head coach in the entire country, di ba? Kailan mo ba yun? Coach Ernest Alam. Uh, ayun ba? Kaya kalaw si... But... France de la Cruz ended this ball game, ended the first half with a triple, and he started this third quarter with another triple. The tie game na naman tayo, di ba? France de la Cruz now with 14 points. Nine minutes and 32 seconds. Pero may foul doon for Level Up Lubao. Dangerous pass yun. Buti na lang. Nasalo ni Ice. Nanting back to Garcia. Now it's to Montalvo. Montalvo back to Garcia for three. Libre, libre. It's too strong. Montalvo on the rebound. Sumabit dun si France de la Cruz. But good decision. Galing dun kay Montalvo. Bago pa niya makita na... Bago pa dumating yung double team sa kanya sa poste. Binato na agad niya papunta kay Lendel Garcia, which he was wide open. Great recognition by Montalvo there. And I'm seeing a different Kent Montalvo ngayong araw. And it's paying off kasi Lendel Garcia still a little bit parang struggling ever since the playoffs started. Diba? Medyo nagsastruggle ng konti si Lendel Garcia. But kasi ini-expect na ng mga teams yan from Lendel that he will perform as he should be, diba? As he should be. As two out of three now for Lendel Garcia. He should be dahil ni reveal na siya ni uh -oh. Coach Jonathan, Coach Jonathan Benedict Buwan. Juan and Coach Benji Navarro that he will play for Luwid Juan Kapampangan on the upcoming 23-under of our Sinag Liga Asha. Three out of three for Lenda Garcia. Yes. Nine minutes and 16 seconds. Transfer three. Goes off to the center. Rebound by Danting. Good First pass. half. Second chance point, zero for level up the bow, yeah. and ten for a pallet. I love it. Yun yung sinasabi ko kanina, di ba? The glaring stat line para dito sa a pallet talaga is the second chance points. A good move. La Cruz to Zita. Yung mo yung tapang na yun, yung rima si Bax. Uh -oh. And that time talaga yung tangkad na rin talaga na a pallet na nanalig dun eh. Ito mo naman, tumalun lahat. Wala kang spasyo. Sa mo, sa, kung ikaw yung player na titira, sa mo ilalagay yung bola, di ba? Medyo nag-rhyme ka dun, ah. Ah, palit na nalig. Oo, oh, siyempre. <laughs> Then think about the rebound. Uh-oh. May pinasa yung kay Lendel uh -oh, Garcia. Na, na, na. Good pass. Get your point guard recognition. Tumakbo si Garcia on the floor at nag-abang dun sa open spot. Danting rewarding his point guard. Clear offensive foul on John Zita. Maglalang is getting into John Zita's head. And look at that, oh. May konting tapik si Maglalang kay Zita. Nung dumaan siya, iniisahan ni Maglalang si Zita. But look at that beautiful dish right there. Galing dito kay Danting. I was trying to rhyme something with his name, pero wala that ako kaisip. The five consecutive points coming from Lendel Garcia after hitting up the three free throws. With a miss for Montalvo. One thing here for Apalit, huh? Big hindi sila pwedeng magpakumpiyansa kasi itong level up Lubao, kahit hirap sila, they're still in this ball game Look at that move by France. Look at oh! that! Parang hindi naman 20 years old yung gumawa ng shot na yun. Grabe. I mean, the, between the legs, para pagpagin si Danting, the step-through move, he's doing everything right now for level up Lubao. Just like that! It could have been a back-to-back -back shot coming 
from the 20 year old Franz de la Cruz. Like birthday na ba yan? That last time 90. Ewan, ewan ko, hindi ko sure. Kasi, ang sabi kasi, according to MJ, nireport ni MJ kasi 20. Look at that, pinagpag lang yan si Danting doon and then he splits the defense. And for context, ladies and gentlemen, for context, when Enzo Serrano was playing for Adams and Baby Falcons back in the UAAP, Enzo was just going 100% speed. As we can see right here, Rocky, our chairman for our Sinag Liga, Asha Boss Rocky Chan, together with Ma'am Janice Chan, and of course, the tournament commissioner for Delta Cup 2024 and stands as a COO of Sinag Liga, Asha, Coach Leo Isaang. Going back to Sinasabi Mo. Ayun nga, si Enzo Serrano, when he used to play for Adams and Baby Falcons back in high school, always one speed lang yun si Enzo eh. Pag nakuha niyo yung bola, tenderetso na agad siya sa basket. Kagaya ng ginagawa ni Ice Danting, di ba? Yun yung ngayon, comparison ko kay Danting before. Enzo Serrano, dito kay Franz de la Cruz, kalmado siya. And look at that. Governor diba? Dennis Delta Pineda, together with Coach Pedic Di Matulak. If yung hat ni Gov Delta, if that doesn't inspire the young kids of Pampanga, diba? champion, and diba? Kung siya that doesn't nung inspire you. Ewan ko na. Speech niya, nandun yung champion ring. Yes, diba? yung ring is there. Three point shot from the Tasmanian Devil. Six points. For CJ Delfina for this ball game, it's bounce pass to Danting. They need to do more from they get. They need to get more from Delfino in this ball game. He needs to lead his team. Five over three. Off to the left. Rebound by Manalang. Back to CJ Delfino. We're tied at 34. The biggest lead of the ball game is six. Delfino against Yuri Masibak. Oh, under the screen again. They're daring Delfino to shoot the three. Ayaw nilang umatake siya. They're daring him to shoot outside jumpers. Danting, sinukat muna! Look at Maglalang. Grabe yung lipat doon ni JP Maglalang. Parang ano pa nga eh, nabitin ng konti kasi na, napaaga yung talon niya eh. Parang gusto pa na idakdak yun ni JP Maglalang. Yung balik ngayon ng kalamangan pen sa apalit, 36 to 34. Two point lead, jumper for Manuel Pangan. Off to the left. Rebound by Maglalang. Back to Danting. Montalvo. It's a four shot for Montalvo. Oo. Oh, oh. Inarangan na kasi ni Manalang. Eh. Gumit na siya talaga dun para hindi makatira at makabuelo. Ito si Montalvo. Manalang for three. Short. But the possession belongs to a pallet. Look at this, coach. Coach. James De La Peña putting in Jaren Carolino for the first time. He did not play the last two ball games na level up Lubao. Talking about Jaren Carolino. Ngayon, pinasok siya ni Coach James. Dudukot siya ng someone na wala sa scouting report in this finals, di ba? Let's take a look on what will happen to level up Lubao. Ito na. Ayan na. Di ba? Depends ha. Oo. Oh, oh. Delfino against Masibak. Nice pass. Ayan na. Oo. Oh, oh. Ayan pala ang tinatago Ayan pa. <laughs> ni Coach James Allen de la Peña. And yun nga sinasabi ko eh. Someone that's not in the scouting report, magugulat tong kabilang team. Kasi hindi mo, pag, hindi mo na paghandaan eh. Pagpasok niya, magugulat na lang yung kabilang coach na, wait, we don't have that Jaren Carolino on the line, on our scouting report. So hindi mo alam, paano ba laro niyan? Paano ba nilalaro yan? How are they incorporating him in the offense? And Agad that pass coming from Delfino, it yes. seems like napraktisado yung oh, play oh. na yun. Kabisado ni Delfino siguro to si Carolino, but apalit, they were in shock. Parang, di, 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 di nila sure ano ba ilalaro niya itong Carolino na to. Maglalang. Look at that, he's even reaching for the block there. But now let's turn it over to our courtside reporter, Francine Capini, para dito sa update niya sa panic ng apalit. I love it. Francine, take it away. Hello again, Pen and Enzo. It is history in the making for Team Apalit as they hope to make a comeback against Level Up Labau. They took it personally, Ika Manila. This game will be an ultimate redemption performance for Apalit. And when I asked head coach, Coach Zaldi Messina, what their mindset was coming into this game, ang sabi niya lang, focus lang ang lahat from the coaching staff to the players and leave it all out of the court. Wag pa give up kagad at consistency lamang is the mantra for Team Apalit. Now back to you, Pen and Enzo. Thank you so much on that update, friends. You know, Enzo, consistency, yun ang pinaka-natandaan ko from Coach Azadi Messina's yes. word. Actually, in any 
ano naman eh, in any aspect of life, consistency is always key, di ba? Kasi nasabi nila sa love daw, ganun. Pero dito sa basketball kasi, consistency is always key. Your offense might not be there, but how consistently you... you know, just like that, Delfino, how consistent you set up your teammates, how consistent you play defense. That's important in the game of basketball, especially in a finals game. How consistent is your effort? Yun yung tinutukay, yun. Consistent by effort mo on the floor. And if meron mang magbabago sa effort mo, dapat paangat, hindi siya pababa. Lendl Garcia fouled against Mark Manalang. One point lead for Apolid. It's now a tight ball game. Coach Ka Isel Santos. Ha advance happy birthday to Coach Isel. Birthday niya next week. <laughs> <laughs> Coach Pedic. <laughs> Alam mo ba, alam mo, nagulat ako, sabi niya, hindi pa daw siya natututukan ng camera kanina ng halftime. Ngayon ang tinutukan siya, kitang-kita niya, hindi siya, akala ko may gagawin something special. Yun pala yung pag ni Coach Pedic. <laughs> alam mo, nag-chess yun sa akin kanina, tutukan daw siya ng camera dun sa, ano, Ayan, eh, ngayon, sa tinutukan, walang ginawa. tune up ng lanterns. Ah, tinutukan tinut tinut siya kanina. Nag-chess sa akin, sabi ko, Coach, wala ba po ako? <laughs> tinutukan siya kanina. Gulat na gulat nga daw siya nun eh. Delfino. Against Dancing. Manalang against Dizon. Pahirapan. Nice ejection coming from Makapagal. Eight seconds. Jumper for France de la Cruz. Count it in for France de la Cruz. Grabe, ang galing na itong bata na to. I'm surprised, ha. When I ask him, meron, ba, meron na bang school na tumatawag sa'yo? Ang sagot ka sa'kin, wala pa. How? Diba? How in the world is this kid not being recruited yet? Alam Excellent mo, shock. Most probably after this. Oh. Meron na meron na. I'm pretty sure, diba? As I mentioned earlier, that this will be another history to unfold. Yes. And look not at that. only for the Kapampangan basketball, but for the Philippine basketball as well. Okay, kita mo naman yung talent, diba? And our tournament commissioner and the CEO of Sinag Liga Asa already declared it that this is the basketball central of the Philippines, the basketball capital of the Philippines, ang Pampanga. Hindi and lang we... sila culinary capital of the Philippines. Oh, oh. Offensive foul on Carolino. Level up, Lubao is now up by one. 40 to 39, three minutes and 26 seconds. Substitution on the floor. Sinke checks in for Danan. Maglalang silently doing his work well dito sa third period. The box out niya, yung mga fouls na natutraw niya, rebounding and defense. He is silently trying to take control of the ball game right now. But yun nga, again, we talked about this in free throws. Hindi man maka-drive ngayon sa basket itong si JP Maglalang watching him on the elimination rounds. He's putting his best defensive play eh para makatulong yes. dito sa panig ng Apalit Alam. And what they did yesterday to Minalin All-Stars was collective effort. Yes. Imagine mo lahat sila at the end of the second, at the end of the first half. 14 players ang naipasok dito ni Coach Adi Messina. Sampu ang nakascore. First How half pa lang yun. Ha? First half pa lang yun. That's the glaring part of it. First half pa lang yung sinasabi mo, di ba? Pa Paano pa kayo ng endgame, di ba? Now, tied at 40. Again, they're Delfino daring misses. Delfino. Look at that, Silvestre on that rebound. Oh, offensive foul there on Silvestre. They say a wayward elbow from Kirsten Silvestre. 10,700 viewers on our Facebook page. And look at that thing. He's telling his teammates, di ba? Kasi kanina... Nung kayo maglalang, nakikipag-asaran siya sa fans ng Lubao. Dito naman, Silvestre got... Yeah, medyo napikon siya na may sumusundot. So he threw an elbow. Danting is telling his team is backcourt. Uh, that's a backcourt violation. Danting is telling Dizon. his teammates. Oh, oh. Coming from Edmar Dizon. And that's one thing. Sinasabi ni Danting in two France report kanina kay Coach Zaldi. Focus lang, di ba? And Danting is known to, dito. Part siya ng mga championship teams. Alam niya paano mag-perform dito in the brightest light. When the lights are the brightest. So, tinuturuan niya yung mga teammates niya, oh, huwag tayo makipag-asaran. Huwag tayo makipag-pisikalan. Let's just play our game. Focus lang tayo. Kung focus lang din ang labanan, Isaac Danting is very known for that, knowing that he came from Coach Tab Baldwin yes. of the Ateneo. And then ngayon, Coach Pido Harencio, di ba? Two legendary coaches. Pero, you know, one thing crazy ngayon about the game. Sabi ko kanina, Toroto Tambo, ha? Merong walis Tambo ako nakita nire-raise isang 
Lubao fan. Eh. Binaba na ngayon, pero may walis tambo kanina doon. Yeah. Or walis tingting ata. Eh. <laughs> may nagtataas ng walis kanina. Nakakagulat eh. Kanya-kanya nga sila dito na talaga. Tarpaulin. <laughs> Torotohot. Heads, tarpaulin. Yung mga ulo <laughs> lang ng mga player. Diba sa U-Up ganun. Pag-championship. Oh. Alam mo ano na lang kulang? Naalala mo si Angel, yung kaibigan natin dati, yung nagbabato ng gano'n na banner na may pangalan ng number ng player. Kasi may sigaw sa ilalim ng basket. Ay, Angel yun, pangalan ng number. I remember ako. Angel, di ba? Hindi na yung kulang dito eh. May mag gano'n eh. Alam mo pa kahapon ng halftime? Para dyan sa, hindi, sa ah, mga okay. kabalan na, di ba siyempre pag halftime nagbe-break tayo pa lang ng uh, all-down. Yeah. Yung mga bata ng netong Level Up Lubao, nag-ram pa dito sa gitna <laughs> ng court. Tapos tinatambulan sila ng mga drummers. <laughs> Tapos dala-dala nila yung tarpaulin ng Lubao. <laughs> I don't know, nasa labas tayo kanina. Baka may gumawa rin dito <laughs> inside the court. You don't know. Pero ito, another turnover. Ay, walis ting-ting nga, Enzo. Oh, no? Di ba, walis ting-ting nga. Sabi ko sa iyo. <laughs> These fans are crazy, alam mo yun? Crazy in a good way, di ba? Nakakatawa yung fans dito sa Pampanga. Manalang for three! That would have been big if that hit. Oh, dito ni Francis Lacuse with a jumper once again. Too strong for now. Look at the fight between for just, from Justin Cruz. Taller Carolina ang binabox out niya and yet naitulak niya pa si Carolina papunta sa ibang lugar para hindi niya makuha yung rebound. Yes, 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 sabi ko sa'yo na parang ang takatakad uh -oh. na... Uh oh oh I thought that was gonna be another dunk attempt for Ice, pero Carolino met him up top. Nakabuelo siya, pero may nakaabang na Carolino. I've been waiting for a dunk from this guy, and yet yung mga attempts niya, napapatalong kayo. Look at that, oh! Kanina doon ang warm-up nila, lumakbak yun. Oh. Finally, after making, he finally makes a free throw. May napasok naman siya kanina. Zero for four siya kanina ngayon. This is first one. Two out of two now for Isaac Benting. We're now tied again at 42 with two minutes and 11 seconds remaining in our third period. Delfino. Offensive foul. Clear offensive foul there by Sinke. Another turnover for Level Up Lubao. Sideline inbound for Apalit. John Zita. You know one thing about Apalit, I love it. Yung team na to, sobra, sobra yung puso na ginagamit nila dito. As well as Level Up Lubao, but you know, being veterans. Yes. You having an ice acting thing on the floor. Ito, as they for, itong level up Lubao, they're forcing a traveling violation. Alam ko lang ang ginagawa ng Lubao eh. With the full court press that they're trying to do, they're trying to speed up the game. Patakbuhin natin ang patakbuhin ng apalit. Kasi yun yung advantage ng Lubao eh. They're a fast-paced team, hindi sila half-court team. So that, what, that's what they want. Tumakbo lang tumakbo. At by, by way of, one way of doing that is go full court press. Papipilitan doon tumakbo din itong apalit. No warning and done. Si Ed Mardiza for faking the foul. Of that Khaled Makapagal. That thing's running. That thing's... Kala ko, ayaliyup eh. Nakontest lang doon ni Juan Zita. Mort Manalang. Balik kay Delfino ang bola. Franz de la Cruz against Dunting. Perfect matchup, no? Franz de la Cruz, Isaac Dunting. Yes. Matapik pa doon! Ano ito na? The ball na daw ng Lubao. Alam mo kaya hina, hindi na hinabol ni Edmar Dijon. Akala niya last stop doon ng Lubao. Oo. Oh, hindi oh. na niya hina... Hindi na niya hinabol eh. Thought na siya... Or bola nila. But, you know, pag, sa mga gantong laro, you don't have to second guess. Kung kaya mong kunin, kunin mo na, di ba? So the more you second guess, hindi na mo, lost. Opportunity lo para sa kanila yan. We're still tied at 42 with 45 seconds remaining on the game clock. Balik ang bola kay De La Cruz. He's asking for help. Back to Delfino. Balik ang bola kay Manalang. Five seconds on the clock. De La Cruz, jumper again! 
Off to the right. Rebound by Manalang. Dizon asked for it. Look at how cute. Makita mo si Edmar Dizon and Justin Cruz together. They look like two wins. <laughs> Did you say cute? <laughs> Is that the word you use? Cute? Cute. <laughs> I stop! Coming from Halego! Pantay na pantay pa rin sila. Look at that. After three quarters, we are still tied right now at 42. Grabe. Wala pa rin may clear advantage. After 30 minutes of action, as me, we'll see itong highlights natin, especially from Level of Lubao. Francis Franz de la Cruz, 18 points, 7 rebounds. Three assists, the 20-year-old Phenom once again. Looking to lead it on level up Blue Bow to victory dito and take game number one. But may 10 minutes of action pa tayo at all time tayo at 42. Entering the fourth and final quarter of game number one and 2024 Delta Cup Finals. Isa na lakas, labanan ng bilis, gamitan ng estratehiya, kilalanin ang mga pambato ng siyudad ng Pampanga, Delta Cup 2024, Intermunicipality and City Tournament. Hatid sa inyo ng Sinag Liga Asya, Sinag Liga Asya, Mekos Mekos na yan! Isaac Danting on your screens, 14 points, 9 rebound and 4 assists. On the semis game, Lubao won by a two-point margin against the Palit I Love with the 67 to 65 ratio. Yes, and karamihan ng points niya, pahirapan talaga that game. And he even ended up being subbed out of the game because may crunch siya ngayon. Araw, 10 points, 9 rebounds, 4 assists, nearing a double-double performance. Itong si Ice Danting. And actually, yung points niya, hindi man coming in bunches, but yung timely baskets that he is hitting. The buzzer beating three-point shot. Yung mga attempts niya are always in the flow of the offense. Hindi niya pinipilit gaano. Pag open court lang, dun niya atake. And I like the fact that four assists, yung four assists na yun, it means he's trying to involve his teammates as much as he can. We entered the fourth and final quarter of this ball game. You know, Ezra, the question is, are we going to have another five minutes? Mamaya mo na, mamaya mo na yung tanong yun. Paka ma, ano yun, ma, maging totoo yun. <laughs> maging totoo pa yun. The end of the first quarter, we're tied at 13 when you end it. Oh. Half time, tatlo lang lamang. Third quarter, tayo ulit. Mamaya mo natanungin niya. Maka mag-extend pa talaga. Oh, sure na. There's a whistle. Silvestre ata. It is on Silvestre. He pushed Zita off of him. Papahinga muna sa dito ni Coach Daddy Messina. JP Maglalang checks in for Silvestre. De La Cruz, back to Sean Lorico. Look at that. Balikan lang. Tinapos ni Perez De La Cruz ang second quarter ng triple. Sinimulan niya ang third quarter ng may triple ulit. At sinimulan na naman niya ang fourth quarter. And don't forget, sinimulan niya yung laro ng triple, di ba? <laughs> Do not forget that. I mean, again, the most dangerous man coming off an inbound is the inbounder. Kasi hindi mo alam saan siya pupunta right after. And Lorigo recognized, pag takbo ni De La Cruz, pag flash niya to the three-point land, walang bumantay, hit him, and hit the three-pointer for De La Cruz. He has been Mr. Everywhere. He knocks it on the center, on the left wing, right wing, on the corner. Really phenomenal player for level up Lubao. Kaya kahit nakapahinga dito si CJ Delfino. Oo. Oh, pwede pa rin, di ba? Oh, good block by Zita. Again, Zita. Saving the day for Lubao. Layo. It's a rebound by Manalang. Look this once again. Oh, 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 oh. It's a bad fall for Justin Cruz. But that shot will count for Janzita, but Justin Cruz is down on the ground. This is good sports Manche from Zita. He is going to go and check on Justin Cruz. He did not mean it's a very bad call. We saw it. Justin Cruz. Napalaki yung mata ko kasi sobrang delikado ng bagsak but he's standing up right now. Pero napatibay ng bata, he just stands up right there. 
He just stands up and walks back to the bench. Take a look at this the hard fall for Justin Cruz. There you go. <laughs> Level up to bow, now up by five, 47 to 42, 8 minutes and 54 seconds. Skent Montalvo checks in. Six point lead. And more Dizod. Well, okay, JD Harlego. Almost too strong. Then I'm going to take it from Montalvo. I was going to say that. But then I'm going to take it Montalvo. He's going to take it Oh. And again, Manaf. Manalang down on the ground one more time. Look at that. The fans like, ah, asara na. This is the environment of the final. I mean, this is your first finals game as an anchor, diba? Di ba? Nagkatamaan sila pareho ng ulo. Nagkaupugan sila. Kanina ang kinakabaw pa ako eh. Parang, di ba pag, ano, usually maingay ako. Kanina na nanayimig lang ako kasi... Napan Napansin ko, wag ka pag-alala. <laughs> <laughs> normally, parang... normally ako nauna dito sa table. Pero kanina naunahan mo ako. <laughs> Kinakabahan kasi talaga ako. <laughs> well, imagine mo tayo, we're paneling this game. Paano pa kaya mga players, di ba? Paano pa kaya mga naglalaro? I mean, that comes, comes with the pressure of the game. And look at that! Oh, JP maglalaki. Look at his reaction after that. He just muscled his way through Sinke. Look at that. Oh. Kinargan lang niya si Sinke doon. All of Sinke's weight was on him and he just buried him right there underneath the basket. Pero yun nga talaga, yung free throw na naman talaga. And, that, and that's gonna be a factor coming into the last stretch of this game. Can you hit your free throws? Lubao has been hitting theirs. Apalit has not. Traveling. Against uh, one of the best point cards for Hustle Racing San San Lorico. Tatlo na kasi ko. Sumalubong sa kanya dun eh. Sibak. Back to Dizon. Look at that. Dizon to maglalang. Masyado na namalalim. Four points lead for level up Kubao. Seven minutes and 56 seconds remaining. And may napapansin ako dito, Pen, ha? Still no sign of Lendel Garcia pala palit. Ang tagal ni Lendel nakaupo. Dahil Edmar Dizon and Justin Cruz has been so phenomenal on what have they have been doing for the place of a palit. That's true. Three man up top for level up Lubao. Nagawan dun siya didn't thing. Seven minutes and 27 seconds remaining. 48 to 44, still a four point lead for a level up Lubao. Nabubulun na. Ah, okay lang yan. Bounce pass! Look at that, CJ Delfino, nanghihinayang siya. Sayang na sayang siya on that oh, possession. Oh. Libre-libre yung gitna dun eh. And yet, yung nagbigay ng screen, itong si Carolino, hindi pumunta sa basket. Eh, ito, ito, ito pala yung napansin ko, hindi natin tinatanong. Ha? Ilan yung mga present na barangay captains niya <laughs> sa Lubaw? Sabi nila, 44 lang daw oh, 44 barangay. lang daw barangay. Baka Paano kasi naman, nabilang yung ABC president. Yes, kasi mga officials ng barangay, di ba? Maybe that's what they were counting. I asked Coach Alan eh, kung ano ba ang... 44 ano pa pinang malaking municipality. Lubaw daw talaga. Lubaw daw talaga. 44. That's why. <laughs> Sa suporta naman ng crowd, di ba? Kita mo, pantay lang. Ang daming white, ang daming blue. And you know, fun fact. Etong mga etong uh, intertown seven times palang na pa champion ni coach Alan Trinidad ang Lubao Pampanga sa intertown. So balik pag nanalo ang Lubao ng championship. First time na out, outside of the Alan Trinidad yes. era. Oh, okay. 11,000 viewers in our Facebook live. As Justin Cruz scores para dito sa or sorry not Justin Cruz Edmar Dizon. Gampang ka sa di ba? You, I now agree with you. Pati ako na pa, na gano'n na rin. Pagtaliko, okay number 8 pala. Oo. Kaya ka nagulat ako, number 8 pala. Parang yung ano, makapagal tsaka Montalvo, di ba? Takaw lang yung pinagkaiba. 
Take a look at that move by Edmar Dizon. He's against San Lorico. And yun yung actually same move na ginawa kanina ni Franz de la Cruz on Edmar Dizon in the first half. Tumakbo pa dun si San Lorico against him. Pero hindi siya nagpatinag. As Don Zita back to CJ Delfino. Two points lead for Lubao with six minutes and 30 seconds remaining. Jumper for Delfino. That's the way to defend CJ Delfino. Make him a jump shooter. He's not really known for his shooting yet. So you're going to go on up the basket. Almost a miss. Doesn't think for three. Off to the right. Three points by Manalang. Also another guy not known for shooting. They can both hit the three-point shot. Diba? They've shown it in this game and also all throughout the tournament. Pero hindi talaga yung strong suit nila. Their strong suit is attacking the basket with ferocity. Zita, back to Manalang. Four seconds na lang sa clock. Zino, one second. Muntik pa yun. 12,000 viewers now. Wala pang isang minuto ang lumipas. Parang naman siya dagdagan yung tao dito sa loob ng brain. <laughs> Parang ganun din karamin po. De La Cruz. Against the thing. Back to Manalang. Oh! What a rejection. Coming from the growling tiger. And the former Blue Eagles. Inabangan niya talaga yun eh. He was pinwelo niya yun. Alam niya. He needed to contest that. Zita against the thing. Turnover. And Talva is running. Masiba! Nice and fast! Tie game na naman tayo. With five minutes and 70 seconds remaining. We're, still tied. No, we're tied at 48. We're being up by six points. The biggest lead of the ball game for both teams. Yes. And look at the pallet crowd right now. Manalang to Delfino. Back to Manalang. Oh, open look. Hey! Hey! Grabe. From the rainbow territory. Mark Manalang puts it in the basket. Same thing that he did in no the semifinals round. Hitting big shots against Apalit. Dizon. Dizon to Montalvo. Back to Danting. Danting for three. Layo. A foul on TJ. Landing spot foul. He did not give Delfino. Delfino did not give Danting any room to land. There you have it. Papasok na si Lendo Garcia for Ed Martizan. Take a look. Danting for three. You know, he did not give Danting any room to land. That's a landing spot foul for CJ. But here's the thing. If I'm Delfino, I'm actually happy with that foul. Because Danting will be into the free throw line, albeit he made the first. But may dalawa pa siya. Are you sure that Danting can make the those three? Diba? You're basically challenging Danting to hit all three free throws. So, so, so my percentage is still dropping. <laughs> still may isa pa for Isaac Danting to make this tied ball game again. But now let's turn it over to our courtside reporter Francine Capiri para din sa update niya sa Apalit. I love it. Francine, go ahead. Hello, Pen and Enzo. Comeback is the name of the game for Apalit, and especially returning player Isaac Danting, who is currently the leading scorer for Team Apalit. I had the opportunity to talk to Isaac, and I asked him what he thinks his biggest challenge would be after his absence last game. Para kay Isaac, the weight of the pressure on his shoulders to perform well, and especially the ever for the ever-present crowd of Apalit, would be his biggest fit. Dahil madami ang umaasa ang sabi ni Isaac, and Isaac is very critical about his performance. So I asked him how he would overcome those challenges and to stick to the game plan and have better decision making and feel less pressure from the crowd and sabi ni Ice. So let's wait and find out if he can deliver another performance that is one for the book for Team Apalit and Delta Cup. Now back to you, Pan and Enzo. Thank you so much. Hindi na tayo magkari ni Gandito. Oh, oh. Grabe. This game, I mean, albeit the France, I heard a couple of things. The crowd now talaga is a, can be a something for dagdag pressure para kay Ice that thing, but it also is a blessing. Di ba na ganito yung Support, but it also adds to the pressure. But then again, look at that. Tiger na naman tayo at 51. Mga kapalayan, once again, handahan na ba kayo para sa ating Kiss Camp?
Kiss naman dyan! Alright, pagkakata mo muna, ipakita ng iyong pagmamahal kay Acheng, kuyang! Kiss mo si Acheng! Kiss! Kiss naman dyan! Taru, ayaw! Ayan, ayaw niya. Ayan, naman ang kasunod na. Ayan, kiss ka mo naman dyan! Yun! Alright! Ayaw mo, ha? Eto ba! Kiss naman dyan! Kiss naman dyan, Koyang! Alright! Eto! Apong! Kiss mo naman si Nanang! Apong! Ayan, ayan, sa kabila. Kiss naman dyan, Tay! Kiss! Ayaw eh! Kumpare pala, tsaka magkumare. Kung gaan mo katamis ang kiss cam na yun, ganun ka init. Hindi siya sasabayan, no? Iinit ng laro, tapos yung tamis ng kiss cam. Side at 4, at 51. With 3 minutes and 41 seconds remaining, CJ Delfino, still no good for the 3-point shot. Montago with the rebound. There you go, Ken. He knows his role in this ballgame. Does he need to score, but he needs just to do his work. Look at that. Look at that, diba? The short jump siya, pero nakuha na yun. He puts it back to the basket. Rebounding. Second chance points para dito sa apalit. Lamang na lamang talaga sila sa department na yan. A good help. Ang ganda ng agaw doon. Si Yuri Masiba to France de la Cruz. Apalit is now up by two. Three minutes remaining. Ganting with the jumper. Masiba for the rebound. Look at that! Look at that! The traveling violation against Yuri Masiba. Out jumping Zita, Delfino, and Franz de la Cruz. Itong si Yuri Masiba. Out of nowhere, he just jumped right there. But good block there by Zita. With that three-man up top for level up the ball against Yuri Masibak. Lorico's now back into the ball game for Lubao. Dahil nga, they're face guarding Delfino from full court. Lorico, back to Manalang. 13,000 Facebook viewers. Pangan, in and out, rebound by Montalvo. I said takes time. Kent back to Garcia. They can go, they can go for a three, but they have to make it sure that it goes in. Oh, and but they can go open. for a quick two. It's open for ice, but unluckily it doesn't go in. A good block by the team. What a block there by the team. Okay, then ping on bola. They're still up by two. One minute and 52 seconds. Back to Montalvo. So asking for a screen. Masibak. Masibak will drive. Great D coming from level up the ball. This is CJ's time. Oh! Drop it! Grabe naman yung tiro na yun ni Delfino. But the referee said... They're saying a fan. They're saying a fan hit Delfino. That's what they're pointing. They're saying a fan hit Delfino. Take a look at this right here. With... That's a crazy shot by Delfino, but they're saying that you know, they're claiming that Lubao a fan hit Delfino. Dao, it's right here as he flexes. There's a fan who stands up, pero tinamaan ba? Oh, 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 oh no, oh no! All the barangay captains are entering the court. And here, Coach Pedic de Matulak already stands up. Oh, oh, you do not want this. Fans should never get involved. You saw that. All of the barangay captains made 
made a beeline to the fans' of baseline. Now, I don't know who was it. Well, there's someone at the baseline na tinamaan daw si Delfino and we all saw it on the replay. And the captain, yung mga barangay captains ng Lubao, all stood up and made a beeline to the fan. Look at that, Delfino. And look at that, Governor Dennis Delta Pineta, pinipigilan na rin yung mga barangay captains. Take a look. There's a fan who just stood up and then hit Delfino there. They should throw that fan out. Whoever that fan is should be out of the court. I'm sorry, Pampanga fans aren't one of the best fans, but you cannot do that to a player. You should not do that to a player if you're a fan. We're here to enjoy. Hindi mo pwedeng gawin yun sa player, regardless of what team you're cheering. The fan should not be involved. Oh, oh you should throw that fan out of the game. Personally, I personally, Pen, uh, I'm gonna be gonna get a little bit personal. I don't know what he's smiling about, huh? As if he did a good thing. Natanamang is Delfino, huh? He should not be smiling, Kanina. Pwede kayo makipag asaran sa player. Say what you want, but you cannot hit a player. And even on the other end, players are not allowed to hit fans. Diba? Look at that, Coach Isa, Coach Pedic Di Matulak, and Coach Governor oh, oh. Dennis Delta Pineda is not happy not with happy. what happened. A fan hits a player, and then nakita natin yung reaction ng 44 barangay captains. They all went to diba, confront that guy. Kaya nag-alala din si Lagov. Napapabangan si Coach oh, Pedic. Oh. Eh, kahit ako natakot ako eh. Lahat ng 44 barangay captains made a course, beeline, diba? They have diba? authorities in their municipality. Oh, oh. At bakit hindi nila yung gagamitin? Lalo na't nasaktan yung isa nilang players. But yes. of course, the fans should not be involved. Hindi na tayo dapat pa mag-add ng gasoline into yes, the fire. Yes, exactly. Enjoy the game and just be calm, diba? Players are not allowed to hit the fans. Players are not allowed to hit the fans. And fans should, are not allowed to hit players. Kaya hindi mo pwedeng sabihin na basta-basta lang itong Delta Cup 21. Oh. Look at that. We have here a, a, a lot Instant of police. Instant replay and the police. Saludo tayo sa mga security natin. There you go. You saw it. He hit Delfino there. Foul and one is complete for CJ Delfino. They now up again by one. Masibak! Oh, mas a miss. Balikan na kay Lanting ang bola. A minute and 18 na lang natitira sa laro. Balik kay Lanting. Lanting against two. Good defense. But still, the boss stays on the offensive side. Again, a second chance point for Apalit. The offensive rebounding of Apalit na nanalig. But hindi lang nila nakakapitalize. Ganito na naman yung nangyari ng semi-finals match-up nila. Yes. This is how close the ball game when we are in the semi-finals. At ganun pa din natin tatapusin itong fourth and final quarter. Same thing, di ba? <laughs> Grabe. And the hero of the semi-finals game is at the free throw line, Ben. Could be the hero once again. Can they give their second consecutive loss for a pallet? Nanang gagaling sa kanila. Oh, look at De La Cruz! Rebound by De La Cruz! Delfino on the drive! Sita again! The savior of Lubao! Lubao, 56 to 4, 56 to 53 with 50 seconds remaining. Grabe, John Zita na naman, di ba? So, tinanong ko pa lang, eh, can, be, <laughs> can, can he be the be? hero? Ang sagot ni John Zita, yes, I can, di ba? But, compared to semifinals, he had 10 seconds to do that, to become a hero. Dito may 50 seconds pa nga pali to come back, di ba? <laughs> look at that, may nagubad na t-shirt. <laughs> 
Hindi mo yung mga apalit pa dito tungkol sa gulat. Take a look at this. Look at that. Zita, really energetic after the basket. Crucial basket again. The bench of level up, Lubao. No, nakita ko kanina talaga kung gaano ka supportive itong mga teammates si CJ sa kanya. Oh. You know, CJ showed a little emotion earlier. He almost cried. And look Any at the 44 barangay captains no. of the municipality na, of Lubao. Na, na, kinabahan ako kanina. Of course, we would like to acknowledge Mayor Esme Pineda and Vice Mayor Zay Montemayor. Montemayor, who's gandun din. Gandun din sa upuan na yun. Crucial inbound right here for Apalit. Oh, good defense right there on the inbound. Hindi nila pinabigay kay Garcia. Balik kay Garcia ang bola. That is a crucial turnover for Garcia. It's a crucial possession. That is big. That is a big turnover para dito kay Lendel Garcia. Look at that coach, James Allen de la Peña showing that emotion. Oh. Well, you win this game, you are one win away from the championship. It seems like when you win this, you have a twice-to-beat advantage. Oh, oh, meron ka na so talaga twice-to-beat. This is a best-of-three series. Yes. And this will make Lubao, if they come out victorious dito sa laro, they should hit their free throws, by the way, but if they come out victorious dito sa laro, that makes four consecutive victories na para sa kanila dating back to the semifinal round. And this will be the second consecutive loss for Apalit coming from Level Up Lubao. Oh, oh. The very important free throw shot for Sean Lorico gets him the basket. Lendel Garcia against Franz de la Cruz with they 30 seconds quick. remaining. Yes, they have to go quick. It holds the time. Oh, it's a bad foul from Lorico. And look at Coach James. He did not want Lorico to foul there because you're going to give two free throws and nakapatay yung oras. But then again, you're going to put that thing again to the free throw line and it's a gamble. Kanina I said, di ba? Hakadanting. But then, he hit three free throws. Pinayao ni Ice. But right now, you're going to bank on that. Bank on the percentage. Play the percentage that Ice misses. But if you're a pallet, can Danting channel that inner shooter one more time? And he might have just channeled that right now. Kita mo, kalmado na si. Hindi na niya minamadali yung routine niya. First one goes in for Ice Danting. Two out of two. Napatawag dito ng timeout si Coach Alan De La Peña. Yes. Like Just I said a three-point lead. Yes. With 23.8 seconds remaining. Pagbalik natin galing timeout, it will be an inbound for level up Lubao. But there could be a missed possession. There could be a turnover. Madami pang pwedeng mangyari. Just a two-point lead, brother. Yes. And like I said, it was a gamble for that foul ni Lorico. Gamble yun. Kasi you're gonna back on the percentage ni Danting. But he hit three free throws already before that. And nag nagamay na niya bali yung free throw shooting niya. So you're gambling. And the gamble did not pay off for Lubao. For Apalit, you need one stop. One stop lang. Just for you to, give a, to have a chance to get the ball. And tie the game, di ba? If you don't get the stop, here's the question. At what point do you foul and, you know, test the free throw shooting dito ng... Level up Lubao. So of course, the beautiful faces inside the Brenzi Gal Convention Center. Alam ang lilinaw talaga ng mata ng mga cameraman natin. Eh, oh, magagaling mga yan. Sige, yeah. Coach Chepre. Governor, Dennis Delta Pineda. You know, Enzo, let me know and uh, other of the fans, how many months ang pinakbo na itong Delta Cup before we get into the finals? I honestly, November. Since November. November, November 5 at opening, if I'm not mistaken. Because nakapasok na ako ng Delta Cup Eliminations. Oh, Nasa kalagitnaan na, na tayo ng Eliminations. January ka nata pumunta, di ba? Mm -hmm. January, February, I forgot. Kanina 12,000 lang. Ngayon, 17,000 viewers on our Facebook page. Dami. Oh, look at this. Dalan is, on, Dalan is on the floor. I think they're going to outlet it towards Danan in the front court. If hindi nila maibigay sa tatlong guardia nila sa harap. This is a very important possession for Lubao. Oh, near steal. The question is, gagamit ba ng coach's challenge si Coach Zaldi Messina? 
crucial foul there on Montalvo. And it's all up to the 20-year-old Phenom to shoot these free throws and possibly ice the game and win game one para dito sa Lubao. France de la Cruz. The first one goes and look at Vice Mayor Jay Montemayor and the rest of the 44 Barangay Captains of Lubao Pampanga. Sabi nila, isa pa daw. They're throwing their ones up. You can see they're throwing their ones up. You know, I really miss Mayor Esme Pineda. <laughs> Yung <laughs> presence niya inside yes. dito ng but ating brand. Kahit wala si Mayor Esme, you, can, you know that she's supporting. Look at that! The emotions coming out from the officials of Lubao Pampanga. One win away from the championship. But, but I would love to say this, huh? 19.6 seconds. A pallet down by four, 19.6 seconds. Isaac Danting was part of that six-point comeback of Luit Duan sa Sinag Liga Asia. He was a focal point of that six-point comeback. I was the reporter yes, that time. Yes, exactly. Kaya kami nabangit ko So, do not count a pallet I love it out just yet. Four-point lead lang to with 19.6. A lot can happen pa. Especially you have Isaac Denting, of course, our chairman for Sinag Liga Asha Bosraki Chan, together with Mom Janet Chan and Commissioner Leo Isaac, and also stands as the COO for Sinag Liga Asha. Hindi may mga fans sa likod. Siyempre, natutuwan sila ng camera, eh. Mga mas happy mga yan, mga fans. Parang may ginagaya ka. 19.6 seconds remaining. Is, this a, is there going to be a miracle right now for Apalit? Let's see if Isaac Dantin can make wonders for Apalit Pampanga. They're trapping him. They're trapping him. That trap worked. Grabe. They trapped Dantin on the sidelines. In that, if you're Apalit, dun mo ayaw na ayaw ilagay yung bola sa sideline kasi itatrap nila kung sino man yung ball handler doon. And look who's at the free throw line, Ben. Look who's at the free throw line. The hero of the game in the semifinals makes again the hero for the game number one of our finals best of three series. Two out of two for John Zita. Now a six-point lead for a pallet with 13.4 for level up the power rather with 13.4 seconds remaining. And a steal, pa, a steal, pa by France de la Cruz. Hindi na kasi to mingin dun si oh. Isaac. They take game one and they have a virtual twice to beat advantage entering game two. One win away and level up Lubao for the championship. More game for Level Up Lubao. Next week, we will find out if they will back, bring back the trophy to Lubao Pampanga outside of the Alan Trinidad era. Alan Trinidad era. Pilag malaki patalaga sa isa kani coach Alan eh. Look at that Cesar Delfino with that emotion. You know, he. I have to give a good, good credit for CJ Delfino. You know, nasaktan ka na, but still, yes. you, you kept your composure for and this ball game. Let's not forget, he is, and he will always be the best point guard of Sinag Liga Asha, di ba? Delfino just backed it up right now. Grabe. 61 to 55. Kung no semifinals, nanalo ang level up Lubao with two points ngayon, sinigurado na ng level up Lubao. That the bounce back opportunity for a pallet, I love it, will not happen. No wonders for Isaac Denting for this ball game. 61 to 55 once again is our final score. A six-point lead win for Level Up Lubao. Just one game away for the championship title. At babalik na sa municipality ng Lubao Pampanga ang inter municipalities and cities basketball tournament title. And the first ever Delta Cup 2024. What a ball game we had. But now let's turn it over to MJ Raimundo. Dahil kasama niya na ngayon ang ating...
not the cup best player of the game. MJ, take it away. No, I am with the best player of Lubao Pampanga, France de la Cruz, with 23 points, 9 rebounds, and 4 assists. First of all, congratulations, France. Now, sobrang init na labanan nyo again sa palit. Halos nagpapalitan lang kayo ng basket. You were undefeated at pinatayan nyo yun ngayon. Ano ba yung naging mindset nyo during second half para tuluyan makuha ang kalamangan? Hindi mo kung may tagos ako. Ko, nagdiwala lang po kami sa game plan. Um, nagdiwala po ko sa mga teammate at sumunod lang po ako kay coach. Now you have the advantage para makuha ang championship. Ano ba ang dapat namin abangan sa iyo at sa team nyo for the game 2? Mas ibibigay pa po yung best ko para makuha yung champion. Now I'm giving you the floor para patiyan at pasalamatan ang mga sumusuporta sa Dubao, Pampanga. Nauna-una kay Lord sa panalo na to, kay Mike, kay Monte Mayor, kay Mayor SP, kay Cap, kay Coach Bird, Coach James, uh, Boss Marty, mama ko, dati ko sina Ate Anya, Ate Ine, Tita Roda, um, Karen Pangilina, Richie. Kuya Tanta, hindi ko yan po. So once again, that is the best player of the Bao Pampaga. Back to you, Enzo and Ben. Thank you so much on that one, MJ. Grape, three consecutive best player of the game for France. Dila Cruz, at hindi nagkakalayo. 20 points, 21 points, and now 23 points. And they're now one win away from the championship title. Once again, 61 to 55 is our final score. Level up, Lubao. Dominantly win against the Apollet. I love it. The coming game is on March 23, 2024. Saturday, battle for third is Minalin All-Stars contra Abe Abe King Panilong Florida Blanca. And for our game number two and for our main event, the finals game, number two for our best of three series, Apollet, I love it, contra Level Up Lubao. For Francine Capilli, Enzo Galarosa, MJ Raimundo, this is Penelope De Wilhelmina. And on behalf of Direct Nomar Santiago, Direct Mike Danan, Direct Billy De Leon, and Direct Ramonito Roa, at sa lahat ng men and women na nagtrabaho mula dito sa Brand Ziggyao Convention Center, this has been your Delta Cup 2024, and I'm saying that life is a better place to be when basketball came along.